Hello, this is Levi Wumpler with MMAStrikingCoach.com. Today we're speaking with Terry Jones, CEO of Nexus. How are you doing today, Terry? I'm doing great, Levi. Good, good. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about how you came up with the idea for the Nexus? Uh, sure. Nexus was really born out of uh, my desire to have a, uh, a fitness experience with a trainer without having to have an extra person there. I do a lot of biking and, and uh, running, but I particularly have enjoyed the gym working out on focus mitts and uh, bags with trainers in boxing gyms or MMA style. But I found both the, the time and the cost to, to get a training partner together for me uh, became a little bit prohibitive. And so living in Austin, Texas, with a very active uh, community and active lifestyle, as well as a, a very active high technology and gaming uh, industry, we uh, set about to develop uh, what we thought would be the, the, the training partner that's almost as good as a as a personal trainer or a coach, and uh, that that was the real genesis for Nexus to create an interactive and intelligent training experience uh, where you could actually have fun and get leadership uh, with a machine instead of a person. Now, I saw on your website that you, uh, the Nexus comes with sparring rounds and instructional rounds. Could you tell us a little bit about how those work? Sure. We wanted to have uh, two types of training on the Nexus. Uh, the first type of training are video training rounds. And we, in the video training rounds on the screen, you have a trainer teaching and showing technique and taking you through training just like you would in a gym with a personal trainer. Uh, at the same time on the screen, we actually have expert athletes doing the work, uh, whether it's strike training and technique. There's also cardio rounds and core rounds. Uh, you, we actually show you what you're supposed to do, and we show you how you're supposed to do it, and that's all inside uh, the video screen envelope. And then outside the screen, uh, there, are, there are tips and, and prompts, much like gameplay, like Guitar Hero, showing you what you're supposed to do, what pads to hit. So that's our video training session. Uh, and then also because we, as we got into the development uh, and being in Austin where there's a very active gaming community, we decided to add an element of gameplay, uh, and we created an, our own avatar experience uh, so that after you actually get physical training and technique and get your heart rate up and you're, you're learning how to strike properly, uh, you can actually go into gameplay where you're fighting the avatar on the machine and in Avatar, we have sparring, which is you against the machine where you're scoring, much like you would in a fight, types of strikes, uh, head, body, and kicks. Uh, and then we also have in Avatar mode, we have what's called follow me, uh, which is actually kind of like uh, whack-a-mole, where we light up the <laughs> Avatar and give you, uh, give you iconic uh, cues to tell you what type of strikes to, to make. And then we measure you, just like in video, uh, in the video rounds, also in Avatar, we measure the velocity of your strike, the accuracy, the speed, and the response time. So whether you're in video mode, uh, which is real training, or Avatar mode, which is uh, still very fit uh, and, and intense exercise, we're constantly giving you feedback on your accuracy, efficacy, speed, uh, and all those type of training elements, just like a, a personal trainer or a coach would. Hmm. Now, uh with the video training and everything, is this something that someone could use even if they have no martial arts experience? Will it kind of explain to them how to do the strikes and everything? Absolutely. We made it uh, so that literally anyone from a beginner who's never uh, had a strike at this training session before up to, you know, we have expert UFC fighters training on the Nexorcist now, <laughs> uh, guys including like Chael Sonnen. Uh, at the beginner level, we teach basically 10 standard strikes. They're straight on strikes, your jab, your cross, uh, your body strikes, and mm -hmm. your push Muay Thai push kicks. And at the intermediate level, we add to those strikes a number of rotational strikes, such as hooks, elbows, knees, and sweep kicks. Uh, at the beginner and intermediate level, we train both in traditional stance and southpaw. And then at the advanced level, uh, we actually put all of those strikes together in multiple combinations uh, and have you changing stance even in round, much like you would as an advanced fighter. So uh, in those video rounds at the beginner and intermediate levels, we teach technique as well as uh, teaching the striking through uh, repetitive uh, striking. So we teach all of that. So even if you're a beginner striker, we'll start you from the beginning and, and take you up through the levels until you master a level, and then we'll take you up to the next level. And what's really unique about Nexus is it knows and remembers all of your prior workouts. 
So, and it creates a unique workout each day based upon your history. So you never get the same workout, and it's always cumulative, just like you would get with a human personal trainer. Uh, it remembers what you've done in the past and creates a, a workout each day that uh, makes you get better and do new things each day you come to work out. Wow, that sounds really great. Uh, now, you mentioned some of your some uh, famous fighters are training with this. How do you recommend that people fit this into their workout regimen for beginner, intermediate, and advanced? How does it kind of fit? Well, the Nexusist workout is high-intensity interval training. So we do the Nexusist workout is much like in a boxing or MMA gym. Everything is done in four-minute rounds. And we give the Nexusist user the option to pick how many rounds they want to work out and at what level they want to work out. And then a Nexusist uh, actually puts that workout together. So you know, we recommend people start anywhere from uh, five, six, seven rounds, uh, which is 20 to, to uh, 30 minutes. And uh, mm -hmm. their initial workouts, they're going to get more work, which uh, everybody needs and nobody likes. <laughs> and then they're going to get some avatar gameplay. So mm -hmm. the gameplay is kind of like your uh, dessert. That's what everybody loves, but you gotta you got to earn the dessert. Mm -hmm. So and, and as you get more advanced, as your body becomes a little more conditioned, uh, we certainly recommend they increase their rounds up to 10 or 15 rounds. A 15-round workout would take one hour. Uh, it's very intense. Uh, that's three minutes of work in each round and one minute of rest between rounds. And, again, during the rounds, we're giving you full feedback. And at the end of the rounds, we're giving you summary of your work. Um, so, you know, from it doesn't matter if you want to invest uh, 15 or 20 minutes up to an hour. Uh, we're going to we're going to change what you're doing every four minutes. Uh, take get your heart rate and uh, your strength and intensity up, and take you through a, a great workout that'll be extremely effective both for men and women. Great. Now, you mentioned earlier that the Nexusist provides uh, feedback after the rounds. Can you tell us about what kind of feedback you get and why that's important to a fighter? Sure. It's not just after the rounds. We actually provide feedback during the rounds as well as after the rounds, as well as a full recap after the workout. Uh, what we find uh, that's effective when a personal trainer is, as you're working with a trainer, they're typically giving you tips how you're doing. If you're hitting too hard, they tell you to back off. If you're, if you're not measured up properly, they tell you to measure up. Uh, if you're inaccurate, they tell you to pay attention to your accuracy. Nexusist does all of that during the round. And then after the round, it gives you a recap of how you did. So Nexusist does things such as if you're too close to the machine and driving the pads too far or striking too hard for your level, it'll actually pause and tell you to measure up both uh, so you don't hurt yourself and mm -hmm. so that you can maintain your performance level. Uh, Nexusist also tells you as you go up in level, uh, the reaction time, the response time to prompts to strike are reduced. So an, an advanced striker is given a lot less time to score his strikes than a beginner. Uh, also on velocity, we have velocity targets set for all the different types of strikes so that we know that, that we keep you striking at the right velocity uh, so that a beginner who's going to strike a little easier, uh, you know, does not wear themselves out like a, a, at, at the advanced or intermediate levels. Uh, and then obviously we tell you accuracy because uh, Nexusist truly is a it's a very active physical workout, but it's also a mental workout, much like with a personal trainer. Uh, you actually have to bring your mind to Nexusist, uh, and we we want you to be accurate and and uh, quick and sharp in your strikes. So all of that feedback during the round keeps you in the game. It's not mindless. It's not like sitting on a on a stationary bike or running on a treadmill. Uh, this is both a mind and body workout. That's a very important point because it seems like almost all of the people that I've interviewed for the Striking Coach Association, uh, they always mention how the mental aspect of the game is so important. You have to be able to relax and strike and go with the flow and uh, listen to the feedback from your opponent. That's exactly right. And that's the way Nexus is set up and designed, uh, you can see it looks like a trainer. The place of the trainer's face actually is our 19-inch flat screen monitor, and that's where we're conveying all the information. In place of the trainer's brain, we actually have our own CPU and uh, highly intelligent software. In place of the, the feedback and, and the leadership that a trainer gives, we have visual prompts both through our video training or our avatar. Uh, and in place of the sensitivity in the pads where the, the trainer actually moves their hands when you hit the pads, we have seven different pads with dual axis articulating arms that have onboard accelerometers. So just like a trainer, if you hit them hard in the hand, they go, wow, you're hitting a little too hard or give me a little bit more, our pads actually give you that feedback. 
Um, so you're having to adjust what you're doing during the workout uh, to maximize your score and performance. Cool. Uh, this could just be my ignorance. Could you tell me what an accelerometer is? <laughs> An accelerometer is actually a microchip that measures movement on uh, on an axis. An axis would be up, down, side to side, or front to back. Mm-hmm. And the accelerometers are most commonly used in a lot of smartphones, where you you know you can if the phone moves in a certain direction, it measures it. Accelerometers were originally developed uh, to go in. One of the things they're used for commonly is in in uh, notebook computers. And literally, they're sensitive enough that if you drop a notebook computer off a desk as it's falling, it'll lock up the hard drive so it's not damaged when it crashes. Mm-hmm. So these accelerometers are extremely sensitive, uh, and they sense, uh, we have three access accelerometers, so they measure the movement and velocity of all of our pads on either the X, Y, or the Z axis, and that data is fed into the computer that gives us the feedback on your accuracy, your speed, uh, and the velocity of your strikes. Cool. Now, I mean, as the CEO, of Nexus, I'm pretty sure you're going to say Nexus on this next question. But do you have any other favorite training materials or resources you would recommend for anybody? Uh, you know, I would tell you I think the best training aid ever is uh, a great trainer. Personal mm-hmm. trainers are the best uh, training aid I've ever experienced. It doesn't matter if I was in the gym uh, or out on the bike uh, or on the golf course or on the ski mountain. Um, so I'm, I'm a big fan of the personal trainer. It's where you learn technique. It's where you get encouragement uh, and engagement. Uh, and it's you know actually creates a social environment for your fitness activity. It's how you get better. But um, you know I would say if, if you only if, if you can afford a full time trainer and working out with one all the time, best thing you could ever use. Uh, mm-hmm. I have the second best thing to a personal trainer uh, I feel is an exorcist. Great. And so it would be like something for in-between times, even if you had a trainer, you could use the next assist. Absolutely, absolutely. And if, if, you know, if you're working out with a trainer even once a week or once a month, this is something. Uh, with, the net, with the price of an exorcist, you're talking about literally for the cost of uh, you know, one hour of training session a month, uh, you can own an exorcist and be working out with it every day, uh, not just honing your striking skills, uh, but there's great ga- groundwork. If you look at our website, uh, there's great mm-hmm. core work with planks. There's crunch and punch uh, planks and uh, all types of efforts both to get your core strong because, you know, as a fighter, the core yeah. is uh, one of your critical components. If you don't have a great core, you're going to have a hard time in the ring. Uh, we obviously work on cardio extensively uh, so that you have the endurance. And then the biggest thing we teach uh, on Nexorcist is technique. We really focus. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a tough machine. You, it, it'll take the toughest shot. Um, but unlike some of the, the the fitness games that you see on TV or on uh, computer consoles, uh, Nexus, you actually have to strike it, and to to score well, you have to strike it uh, accurately mm-hmm. and crisply. So we really train on that proper technique from stance, how to strike from the you know from the the foot all the way through the core, out through the hand, um, and with proper movement. So we have professional trainers and professional athletes teaching, showing, and training you how to strike properly so that you uh, not only get a great workout, but you actually get great technique. That's really great. That's a really good value, too, if you think about it, just uh, the price of the trainer for a month, or once a month, rather. You can have this every day. right, and yeah, and, if, and what we found with our uh, early users is typically uh, there's, you know, two or three people in the home sometimes, and they're all using it, even the kids. This is a great uh, training aid for kids. We have kids as young as seven and eight uh, that are using the avatar mode daily. Uh, <laughs> we have husbands and wives that are training together on it. Um, it's very competitive, uh, striking. It's also a lot of fun, and uh, this is something that everybody in the house can get into. Each unit has up to five profiles. So when you walk up to it, it will remember you and give you a unique workout. It will remember your wife, your brother, your son, your daughter. Um, it will remember all of their information and give each one of you a unique work t- workout every time you get up to the machine. So literally, it's like having five personal trainers uh, on staff, you know, 24-7, 365. <laughs> that would be very convenient. Anytime you got a minute, you can go get your workout in. It's exactly right. <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about the, the trainers you mentioned? You say you have some uh, fighters and some trainers and everything who are teaching the lessons on the 19-inch screen. Right. Uh, the, the primary fighter, the, the, the primary trainer we have right now is Jordan Cecilia. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, he trains at a uh, he's a trainer out of Winnipeg, Canada. He tra- he uh, trains Team Quest out of Temecula, California. Also, mm-hmm. uh, he's trained a number of major UFC fighters, and uh, we're very fortunate to have him. He uh, does all of our uh, beginner, intermediate, and advanced training right now. Uh, we're also uh, starting to work with a couple of UFC fighters. One in particular that we expect to have training. Uh, uh, segments with in, in the first quarter is Chael Sonnen and a couple of mm-hmm. others that we're in discussions with right now. So we will be adding training modules with other uh, uh, advanced athletes, uh, both trainers and uh, the actual uh, professional athletes that are in the ring uh, to give people t- tips and technique uh, techniques that are particular to them. That's pretty great. I'd like to train with all those people at home. <laughs> There you go. That's exactly right. And uh, you know, it's uh, to get that kind of exposure and uh, experience is something that's that's really unique, and uh, we think people are going to really enjoy. It. Mm-hmm. Now, could you share with us uh, some of the best advice your mentors have ever given you? And this can be about anything, business, life, martial arts, just whatever you think good piece of advice for everybody to know is. Oh, I would say the the. Uh, there's there's two good pieces of advice. One is to start, and the other is to finish. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you got to get started. You got to get in the game, uh, and the other is to finish. Whether it's a, a single workout and technique, or a, a regimen, or a session, uh, those are the two pieces I would tell you: get started, get in the game today, get going, whatever part of your life as it is, and then just make sure you're dedicated to finishing. Um, those are those are two keys to what I think is uh, the happiness and success success both physically and mentally. Great. All right, well, this is uh, Levi Wampler with MMAStrikingCoach.com. We've been speaking with Terry Jones, CEO of Nexorcist.com. Uh, is there anything you'd like to add there, Terry? No, Levi, we appreciate it. Thanks for uh, the interest in Nexorcist, and uh, I hope some of your uh, viewers get some uh, get a, see an interest in it and uh, come online and check it out. Well, thanks for sticking with us today. Thanks, Levi.